and welcome back hey how are you how's it going what's going on guys i woke up in a pretty happy mood today and just saying hey got a little vlog for you guys today just because i feel so great hi daddy no! <laughs> so like i said we're vlogging today um debbie and i are pretty much going to spend some time in the pool i don't know why i keep putting my arm up don't mind that but we're gonna spend some time in the pool today because it is going to be hot not ready for the heat so cool time it is um let me set you guys down actually so before jumping into this whole pool thing no pun intended let me go ahead and give you guys a little fact about me when it comes to the pool so i don't mind having a good time in the pool jumping in flashing around and just being in there what kind of frustrates me is what comes after being in the pool so the main reason that I don't really care enough to be in the pool all the time is because I don't like to get my hair wet because obviously in pool water there is chlorine and I really hate how the chlorine makes my hair feel when I come out of the pool and then I also hate having to shower afterwards because I feel like I have to do like a very 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 deep shower just to get all the chlorine out of my hair especially because it is thick hair it's just probably doesn't make sense to you guys but it's something that i really hate and get frustrated about so i am sacrificing it today because it is going to be in the 90s and i am no way not trying to not be in the pool at this time it's going to be hot it's going to be scorching hot so we're gonna be in the pool today, okay? And um, I thought I'd go ahead and vlog it, give you guys something different rather than the usual Debbie bot pool pong. My idea. <laughs> um, got some floaties in there. It should be a good time, you know? Now, I don't really do the whole bathing suit thing. For some reason, growing up, I've always been uncomfortable with bathing suits. So I usually do t-shirt and some shorts. So that's what I got today, basically just a plain black t-shirt. This one is actually like a workout t-shirt, so I feel like it works better to go swimming i don't gotta ruin any shirts that i like to wear every day so we're good Alrighty, so now that you guys are updated with what's going on today and you got some new information headed your way let's go see if debbie's ready to go swimming okay okay you ready okay guys we have stepped outside debbie is currently getting the cups because we have our pool pong right there so she is getting the cups for that it is hot i need to step into the shade real quick for like the first five seconds that we stepped out i didn't feel as hot because the ac is on inside but then the sun hit and it was just like boom heat so gonna stay in the shade for a little bit while debbie gets the cups but right now it's currently 152 and right now is supposed to be like the peak of the heat today and today the highest is 93 so that's freaking great probably doesn't sound that hot for you summer lovers but that's very very hot for me uh, earlier Ryan was like Debbie you need to get the, you need to get the spray so you don't get hot and I was like are you talking about the blood? yeah he's like so you don't get hot <laughs> so you don't burn None today. It's too early. It's never it's too early for liquor. <laughs> never. Five o'clock somewhere. Alrighty guys, so recently 
I have been asked one specific question and that question is how do I pass the time during quarantine? How am I keeping myself busy, maintaining, surviving? all that and I thought I'd go ahead and explain that to you guys today and I thought I would explain it rather than actually show you guys because how I keep myself busy isn't really that entertaining so I thought I would just go ahead and explain it better for you guys so let me just say that a few apps have been keeping me busy and distracted throughout quarantine and I have them all on my phone so let's go ahead and jump into that little scenario okay so to start off I downloaded a few apps for online shopping so I downloaded Shein, Box Lunch, and Amazon. These three because these are the ones that have my eye. These are the ones that I go to to look at stuff, browse, do my stuff. So recently bought my mom a little Mother's Day gift. Currently waiting on that. I also purchased a little vacuum, I guess we'll say, for my blackheads because lately my blackheads have been popping out so much and I don't really know why. So, bought something for that and um, yeah, pretty much I will just browse on those apps, look at some things that I would like to have, you know, but I won't actually spend anything because I don't really want to do that right now. So, those are the apps for online shopping that I have been looking at. I also went ahead and downloaded this app called Tasty, Tasty Foods, I don't know if you guys know what that is, if not, basically it is an app that has all these different videos and different recipes on meals that you can make, snacks, desserts, beverages, and that has had me on such a hold. I have been looking at that app every single day since I downloaded it, which was about a week or two ago. I'm just on there and even though I'm not a kitchen person, I don't really like to cook, this app makes me want to cook those meals and recipes and such. Like, let me show you guys. So I have like a little little list that's still growing of things that I would like to try out, try to make, bake, whatever. So this is the little list that I have and it's very little as you can see. It has very few things on there but it is stuff that I would really love to try. So I have a little breakfast thing that I can try to make which is an eggs in a cloud they call it. I have the peanut butter s'mores dip easy dessert, three ingredient chocolate strawberry braid, strawberry cheesecake french toast, some morning smoothies, a creamy chicken penne pasta, three ingredient teriyaki chicken, the honey garlic chicken, so yeah, I have a few things that I would like to try. For some reason, this app just gives me the motivation and the excitement to try these things out. I'm obviously not gonna try them out anytime soon, but it's something that I would eventually like to try out. So even though I don't like to be in the kitchen, this app makes me wanna be in the kitchen. Weird, but true. So then the last app that I have downloaded is called Duolingo and Duolingo is basically an app that you can learn new languages off of. So in this case I decided to learn French during quarantine. Figured it would be a really good thing to do because I think I mentioned this to you guys before but I would really love to learn French. For some reason it is just a very beautiful language for me to try to learn and it's very, it seems fun and cool and simple actually. I'm gonna say it is very simple. I have already learned like a few things and I'm just like whoa that's very simple. <laughs> whoa it actually updated I think. Apparently it has a little night mode that has been set I'm guessing because it updated. It wasn't like this before all of this was like white and bright now it's like dark mode but this is currently where I am at I have done basic one I've done some greetings and I am on basic two what I didn't know was that every topic has five levels so after you pass one level it basically opens up another topic that you can try but all of the topics have five levels total so I have just been going over these topics here to reach the five levels but it has like a lot to do so this is going to take me a little while i have been trying to do it at least every day i even set a reminder for myself for a specific time to do lessons on here because if not then i will just leave it there and it won't continue on so right now i have three crowns and i am actually ready to take a progress quiz to see how my progress is working but i don't really want to do that right now i kind of want to 
do that after I achieve all the five levels on each of these three topics here. And honestly, it's just really fun, guys. When I am not trying to learn French, I am also doing Spanish because my Spanish isn't 100%. I can understand it more than I can speak it, and even then, it's still kind of hard to like understand the Spanish. So I really want to catch up on the Spanish. So your girl is very busy with Duolingo. <laughs> and then when I am not on any of these apps, I have been watching a lot of scary movies on Netflix. Apparently Netflix has scary movies that I didn't think would be pretty good, but they actually are. I have seen a good amount already and I have been impressed. There are movies on there that I didn't think would be too good and then I have watched them and I'm just like, whoa, that's a good movie. So I have been doing that, trying to watch all of the scary movies on Netflix. So far, it's been pretty good. <laughs> and then when I am not watching things on Netflix, I am binging Empire on Hulu, which I am actually almost done with already. That show has six seasons and I am already on season four and I have only been at this show for about a month or so. So your girl's been binging a little bit. <laughs> It's just a really good show, honestly. I'm glad that my sister put me on it because, whoa. And then I have also been hooked on Disney Plus. I started rewatching The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and it just makes me remember when I would watch it years ago and how much fun it was to watch it, all the laughs that I would get with these guys and pretty much the whole cast. Like, this show is so freaking good and so fun. I love it. I have started re-watching Good Luck Charlie. Good Luck Charlie was one of my favorite Disney Channel shows to watch and I have been re-watching it and I, I'm hooked. <laughs> so basically I have just been watching some throwback shows, getting into some new things, trying new things, you know, learning French now, trying to keep up with my workouts. I have been lagging a little bit because there hasn't really been any energy or motivation for that, but your girl is trying to keep that going. That is something I really want to keep going. So I have been making sure to stay on that. But yeah, guys, so that is pretty much how I've been trying to keep myself busy, distracted during quarantine because if I don't do any of these things, I will probably break because your girl just cannot do with this quarantine anymore. I am already up to here. Like I am losing motivation. I am losing energy and I just... Quarantine needs to hurry the hell up and move on. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah guys, that is basically going to conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Comment down below any video suggestions you may have for me. Your girl really needs it, not gonna lie. <laughs> Make sure those post notifications are turned on. That way you guys know when I post my videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because when I am not here, I am over there. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!